Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we are kicking off the new trading week with the number one biotech trading under $1 on the NASDAQ. We all know biotech stocks are hot right now. Last week, we saw huge moves in TPST, BPTH, and OPGN. Congrats to all who caught those moves. The stock we are focused on right now is is Tiziana Life Sciences. TLSA on the NASDAQ. This is a company that we have never looked at before. It is a clinical stage biotechnology company that specializes in developing transformative therapies for neurogenerative and lung diseases. The company's clinical po pipeline includes drug assets for secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, Alzheimer's, Crohn's disease, and KRS plus NSCLC. Everyone that knows uh, that trades biotechs knows that Alzheimer's, ALS, and MS are the holy grail. Everyone is looking for a cure for those diseases. The company is led by a team of highly qualified executives with extensive drug development and commercialization experience. The company is developing transformational formulation technologies, enabling it to switch from traditional routes to alternative routes of immunotherapy to facilitate local sites of action. To this day, there is no drug on the market that is a fully human anti-CD3 monoclonal antibio antibody, and TLSA is developing the potential to treat patients in need that suffer from secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. If you look at uh, historically monoclonal antibodies such as blockbuster drug Humira have performed as the best-selling drugs in the world, targeting across multi-indications such as autoimmune disorders and degenerative diseases, these drugs have multi-billion dollar blockbuster potential. If you look at the investment highlights, first up is a revolutionary platform. TLS, TLSA is first in class, switching from uncomfortable antibody injections to revolutionary nasal and oral methods of delivery. The benefits of switching to this unique methodology are increased patient compliance, minimized side effects, and anticipated lower cost of goods and administration. Multiple indications. TLSA's focus is across multiple indications such as neurodegenerative diseases like multiple sclerosis as well as lung diseases. Similar monoclonal antibiotic drugs such as Humira have performed extremely extraordinary well with approximately $200 billion in ad revenue. And then in terms of monoclonal antibiotics, recently, Provention Bio, a competitor for TLSA, was acquired by Sanofi for $2.9 billion. Tiziana uh, stands out from the competition as their drug Forolumab is administered nasally and is fully, fully human. And for Lamomat, this is their clinical drug. It's a fully human anti-CD3 anti monoclonal antibody for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases, works with novel technology to be delivered nasally. This allows the drug to bypass and potentially prevent the toxicities that may be present with non-fully human antibodies, making it revolutionary and a very exciting clinical development. If you look at the market potential, neurodegenerative diseases are rising, which contributes to a growing uh, market projected to reach $53 billion by 2030 and growing steadily at 3.2%. Beyond that, the, ca the competitors are ca catching the attention of Big Pharma. And the key here, this is critical, unmet need. TLSA, TLSA is dedicated to developing drugs to service diseases that currently have no cure. The company's clinical trial is across multiple neurodegenerative disease, autoimmune, and lung disease indication. And if you click that link in the description, our full report is all right here. You can do a deep dive and then go on and do your own research. Always do your own research, guys. And if you come over here and you look at the chart, 
company has been getting uh, bouncing off this critical level here it formed the wedge we bounced off here we are now above the 20 50 and 200 day moving averages the next resistance level is one dollar we get through there and it's blue skies ahead rsi is only 66 so we have more upside ahead insiders own 43 percent of the company there is a short position in the stock i think that has increased as the stock has been climbing Climbing the last two days, I think this one has major, major breakout potential. And then if you look here, there has been a lot of news over the past uh, month. So the company has been releasing a lot of news and that is key when it comes to biotechs. And if you look here, the share is outstanding. The share outstanding level has been coming down. So that is important. Target price here, the average target price is $2.88. The stock is uh, coming off the, the 52 week low, but we are still down 42% from the 52 week high. Year to date, the stock is up 33%, and we think there is a lot more upside from these levels. So make sure you click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop ups to get the full report emailed to you. But this is going to be a busy week in the markets, guys. Uh, on Monday, notable companies due to report include Charles Schwab, SCHW, and Equity Lifestyle Properties, ELS. On Tuesday, uh, Earnings Watch notable companies due to report include j and &J, Bank of America, Lockheed Martin, United Airlines, and Goldman Sachs. We also get at 8.30 a.m. the September Retail Sales Report, which will be released to expectations for a modest 0.1% increase in the core rate. On Wednesday, uh, notable companies due to report include Tesla. That will be the big one. T uh, Tesla will be the big report. Be looking for uh, also the earnings call at 5.30 p.m. Uh, options trading on Tesla implies a 7% swing up or down for shares uh, after the report. We also get Procter & Gamble, Abbott Labs, Netflix, U.S. Bancorp, Las Vegas Sands, and Morgan Stanley. On Thursday, notable companies due to report include AT&T, Philip Morris, United Pacific, CSX, and American Airlines Group. Key on Thursday will be Jerome Powell. Uh, he is speaking at noon at the Economic Club of New York, just two days ahead of a blackout period for Fed members. And also be watching if the strong jobs and CPI data for September push Powell to make hawkish comments to support the expectations by many of higher rates for longer. On Friday, notable companies due to report include American Express and Schlumberger. At 9 a.m., Federal Reserve, uh, Philly Fed uh, F Bank President Patrick Harker will speak on the economic outlook, outlook before the Risk Management Association Philadelphia chapter meeting. So, it's going to be a busy week. Uh, last week, we saw the big moves in biotechs. That's a sign that small caps are getting hot, but you guys got to be uh, nimble. You stop losses, trade them, get in, make that money, move on to the next play. Uh, a lot of these are swing trades that are good for one, two, three days right now. If you look here at TPST, you got the huge move uh, on Wednesday, and then it corrected on Thursday and Friday. Uh, same thing with OPG. End, huge move on Thursday and then corrected on Friday, but we did get a little bit of a bounce. And then BPTH was up 90% on, uh, on, on Friday. But a lot of these guys, there's huge opportunities intraday uh, when these guys get going. So focus on these right now. This is biotech right now. Uh, in our opinion, this is the, the, the sweet spot. This is the sector you want to be focused on uh, when it comes to trading small caps under $5 right now. And what we're doing here at insiderfinancial.com is putting stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stating, stated, there are always opportunities each day in the markets. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. And that's what we're doing here at insiderfinancial.com and putting stocks like TLSA 
stay on your radar. And again, to get that full report, uh, and always do your own research. So you want to read our report and then go and do your own research. Click that link in the description or go to sign up.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at, uns at insiderfinancial.com and unsubscribe. Finally, a shout out to Amplify IR for sponsoring this video on, on TLSA. Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is nice solicitation or recommendation by seller hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Have a great week, traders. Bye-bye.